Hi, I'm Rob. In this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really, really easy to use team for this class trial in Elementalist. And it does have some looping effect potential as well. It's very reliable and very, very easy to use. For this class trial, we're going to fight these champions in any order that we like. But when you defeat all five, you will complete the set and move on to the next round. And you collect more rewards the more, the more rounds you defeat. From the shop, always grab tier 1 if you can. This gives you a potion of enchantment amongst other things, which means all your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for this event, and you get other stuff at the same time. At tier 5, there's an okay weapon. The Elemental Reach deals magic-based damage to an enemy, then deals 12 more damage for each status effect of Entangled, Burning, Frozen, and Stunned, which you will get if you have that third trait in Elementalist class where we... Burn, free, stun, and entangle each enemy on a four match. Right, onto the fight itself. I've jumped forward a few stages because it was super easy at the early stages. But I will show the team here. And a alternative if you don't have three King Heliodors. This works really, really easy and has loop potential at the same time. We have Crypt Keeper up top, Death Marks an enemy. Deals magic plus one true damage to all enemies below them, boosted by enemy death marks. We will be in Elementalist class for this. It is such a good class. It's the best class in the game, easily. And we'll have King Heliodor then helping out with those deaths. He deals magic-based true damage to the first enemy. Now, the important thing about this is we don't actually deal true damage to the first enemy. We death mark them. So this is actually really, really handy. Deals true damage to that first enemy boosted by brown gems and allies, then knocks them to the back and creates three elemental stars. The creation of those three elemental stars gives us loop potential with this. He can charge a team up and do it again, especially as he creates a brown gem when my turn begins. But that becomes three brown gems when my turn begins because we have three of these in the team. So it gets even more loop potential and we're going to have a dust storm in this as well which is brown which we're going to get from the class so three of them banner for this will have plus two purple plus one red minus one yellow we get lots of brown from king heliodor so we'll concentrate on purple and red for the rest of the team and elementalist class for this get that third trait if you can it's absolutely fantastic and the rest of the classes the and the talent trees really really help this out as well snap freeze is really good as is impact whichever you prefer mace of power gain two magic if using a mace and we are stone circle all brown allies gain three armor storm aura create a dust storm at the start of battle this is going to really help out king heliodor's spell we create three brown at the start of every turn and with the dust storm that is going to be a lot of brown for our team which helps rock solid as well gain a barrier when matching brown gems will have a constant barrier gain a bonus brown from brown gem matches as if we have not have enough brown as it is and lord of storms elementals gain one magic when an ally casts a spell so with this potential looping effect as well we are gonna get one magic to all our team every single time we cast very very good indeed do love all these talents it's a superb class right onto the team itself if you don't have three King Heliodors, you can just pop one of them out into a someone else that does decent damage, like Queen Ash. She's actually very good. Deals heavy splash damage, boosted by the brown gems and allies, and creates three element and elemental stars, so that, that will have that looping effect at the same time. If you don't have three King Heliodors, but you happen to have three of her, then um, you can chuck three of her in instead and include a weapon that does damage to all. Something like Black Manacles. That's going to um, be a good little mix at the same time. Failing that. Oh, while well, I think about it, make sure that you match each elemental to their um, type. Like, this is like Earth type, if you know what I mean. Creates a brown gem when my turn begins. Queen Ash is Earth type. She creates a brown gem when her turn begins, as does Shayla with her third trait. But you'll notice other ones do it to um, green and water and stuff like this. Like this like water weird creates a blue gem when its turn begins. Same as this one creates a blue gem when its turn begins as does the waterborn priestess. So by matching those types of elemental up you create more of the same colour. 
every single turn, which gives you a much better chance of getting your teams and mana charged up nice and quick. But yeah, some other good options there as well. Aquaria is going to be good for this if you have that elemental. And even Kalika will be good for this. Yeah, so lots, lots of options. But let's um, dive into the actual battle. It's going to be really simple. If we charge up our weapon straight away, we'll chuck that on the top enemy. As we'll take these four matches. Always take the four matches in Elementalist class. Look at those burn free stuns and tangles everywhere already. Ludicrous. Makes it very safe for you. Create three brown gems at the start of my turn. We can cast this. True damage. Didn't get the loop effect there, but this is going to create an absolute huge amount of brown now. We've got a mana surge guaranteed because it's a five match. And this elemental star is going to basically shoot out a sort of blast from each corner, each point of the corner in a diagonal and collect all that mana from there. And look at that. Looping effects charged up everyone. Just cast King Heliodor, then the next one. This would probably loop the next turn, and it did. Got everybody charged up again. Super easy. And on to the next. Take this yellow match. It, yeah, we'll take that anyway, just to get that mana splurge. Get somebody death marked. Nearly yeah, missed that one. Get two carried away looking for, for brown. Right, let's cast Teliador. There you go. Let's charge everybody up. Let the AI have their turn and just keep casting. Keep charging. Really, really simple and straightforward. It's better if you can cast Crypt Keeper straight away because you're going to do damage to everybody but the top troop and you'll put Death Mark on them instead. Unless, of course, they're immune to Death Mark. Look, the Dicky Bird. So let's do this. Splat. Charge. Crypt Keeper. Always throw that on the top troop. So you can do damage to the ones underneath it. This is still going to work because it's a green. The way these elementals work, elemental stars work, you can match up any of the colour of the elemental star, which is brown, blue, yellow, and yellow. No, <laughs> brown, blue, green, and red. So we'll do that. Don't cast the Crypt Keeper when it's the last troop because you're not going to actually do any damage to it. You're just going to put Death Mark on it. Which is better than nothing if you've got no other options. But if you can collect some, some brown or something, then um, that is always a better option. There you go. There's the charge effect. Doesn't always work. It's not going to be a super guaranteed loop. But it's going to work more times than not. Queen Titania. Nice mana surge there. Always grab the four matches in elemental class. Get the whole team absolutely messed up on the other side really, really fast. They stole our elemental star. That was a bit cheeky of them. Oh, we got another one there. Slightly slower one. All right, let's, um, let's kill that one. And finish off him. All right, let's do a few more and call the video a day. Yes, video, you are a day. And you know it. Let's grab some red by leaving... The brown on the board to give your Heliodor a better chance of getting an extra turn. Well, let's do that anyway. Let's then cast our Crypt Keeper. 
wipe out the enemies underneath. Give them a round of drops with King Heliodor. It pretty much runs itself this team because King Heliodor just casts on the top troop anyway. And the weapon, you always cast on the troop at the top as well. So very, very simple to run. Just cast Crypt Keeper on the top troop. Heliodor finishes off. And just charged up nearly the whole team again. Do these last few battles in this little row. Make sure to start at the bottom there. Ludicrous. I almost don't feel like taking that match there because I'm feeling a bit sorry for him. Loop -de -loop. Give them a splat. Anyone you like. So a nice easy team to use. Yeah, get Elementalist class to level 100. Well, at least that third trait, that is the, the main thing. That third trait is the thing that makes it really, really tick. Really superb in Guild Wars as well, on the defence. People see Elementalist class in Guild Wars defence, and it just, like, ah! You have to kind of rethink your team a little bit sometimes, or think about sticking on Orpheus medals rather than boosting your power up and things like that because all those four matches the opponent could get could potentially really really mess you up look at that it just killed the first opponent and it's charged literally everyone up in fact I'm going to give Heliod all the glory and just let him just loop and just kill everyone simple as that Right, there it is. There's the team. There's the video. If you've enjoyed it or found it helpful, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. Feel free to feel free to share the video and tell your guild and tell your mates and even tell your pets, tell your budgies, your fish, your dog, your cat. Yeah, even tell your pizza boy that comes over and you know, just get your pizza or your curry or your Chinese, whatever your preferred takeaway is, and just say, Oi, mate, this geezer, YouTube, good. Gems of War, have a butcher's. Maybe don't say that. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.